There's nothing worse than being mid-swing in Beat Saber or sneaking through the shadows in a stealthy VR mission, only to have your controller suddenly lose its place in space, or worse, your entire headset starts to drift or glitch. If you found your MetaQuest 3 acting up with tracking problems, don't worry, you're not alone. Even though this headset boasts top-tier inside-out 6DOF tracking, occasional hiccups can happen. But here's the good news. Most MetaQuest 3 tracking issues are easily fixable with a bit of tweaking. In this complete troubleshooting guide, we'll break down why your headset might be misbehaving, and what you can do to get it tracking smoothly again. If this guide helps save your game night from total disaster, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with more VR fixes and tips. Understanding the difference between 3DOF and 6DOF Before diving into the fixes, it's important to understand how the MetaQuest 3 tracks your movements in the first place. This headset uses inside-out tracking, which means all positional and rotational data is handled by cameras and sensors built directly into the headset, no external base stations needed. This gives you full 6DOF, 6 degrees of freedom. That means the headset can track not only where you're looking, rotational movement, but also where you're moving, positional movement, in 3D space. However, if you accidentally disable tracking in the system settings, you'll be dropped down to 3DOF, which can only track rotation, looking up, down, left, right, but not forward, backward, or side-to-side -side motion. If your experience suddenly feels locked in place, check that tracking is enabled in the settings movement tracking menu. This is a quick fix but one that many users overlook. Lighting conditions matter more than you think. Believe it or not, one of the most common culprits behind poor tracking is the lighting in your room. The MetaQuest 3's inside-out cameras need a well-lit environment to function accurately, but that doesn't mean blasting your play space with bright light. Natural daylight, especially direct sunlight, can interfere with tracking. Why? Because infrared light from the sun floods the sensors and messes with the way your Quest 3 sees the world. The ideal lighting setup is even and consistent ambient light, like soft overhead LED lighting or diffused floor lamps. If you're playing at night, avoid using fairy lights, Christmas lights, or flashy RGB strips. These often confuse the tracking cameras. And yes, playing in the dark might feel cinematic, but it's a recipe for broken immersion and drifting controllers. If your controllers start jittering or freeze in place, your room's lighting could be the problem. Flip on a lamp and see if things smooth out. Mirrors and reflective surfaces can ruin the party. Have a giant mirror in your play space? Or maybe a sleek glass coffee table that reflects light like a boss? That might be what's messing up your Quest 3. Reflective surfaces can confuse the headset's cameras, causing them to misinterpret where objects, including your hands, are located. In VR, that means your controllers might disappear, skip around, or fail to register entirely. If you're noticing these symptoms, do a quick scan of your room. Cover up mirrors with a blanket, flip over glossy tabletops, or just temporarily move into a more matte-friendly play zone. A well-defined, non-reflective environment is a simple but often overlooked step towards solving tracking issues. Clean those tracking cameras like you mean it. Just like smudged eyeglasses ruin your vision, dirty tracking cameras can absolutely wreck your MetaQuest 3's ability to see clearly. The headset has multiple small cameras embedded around its frame. These are what track your position and controller movements in real time. If they're caked with dust, covered in fingerprints, or fogged up from your intense VR cardio, they're not going to work well. Use a microfiber cloth, the same kind you'd use on glasses or a phone screen, to gently wipe each camera lens on the headset. Avoid paper towels, alcohol wipes, or anything abrasive. These can scratch the lenses and make tracking worse. Clean the cameras regularly, especially if you play often or have pets that shed. Remove obstructions between the headset and controllers. Inside-out tracking relies on a clear line of sight between your headset's cameras and your controllers. If something's blocking that view, like a pillow, a curtain, or even your own body, your controllers might start behaving like they're possessed. Be mindful of your surroundings and ensure that no physical objects obstruct the headset's view. Also, remember that the Quest 3's cameras can't see behind you, so if you're reaching behind your back to draw a sword or grab an item, the headset might temporarily lose tracking. Try adjusting your gestures or moving more smoothly to keep those controllers within the headset's field of vision. Battery Woes Give your controllers a power boost. This one's easy to overlook. If your controller batteries are low, tracking accuracy can drop sharply before you even get a low battery warning. If you're noticing strange controller behavior, like skipping, jittering, or momentary disconnections, pop out the batteries and replace them with fresh ones. For rechargeable batteries, make sure they're fully topped off. 
If your Quest 3 uses controllers with removable batteries, take them out for at least 30 seconds before reinserting. This brief power cycle can often clear up small firmware glitches that interfere with tracking. It's the VR equivalent of turning something off and on again. And yes, it works. Power cycle the headset for a fresh start. If things still aren't behaving after all that, try the classic trick. Restart your headset. Power it off completely, wait about 10 seconds, and turn it back on. A fresh boot can clear out temporary glitches and reset the system's internal tracking protocol. Think of it as a soft factory reset without losing any data. It often solves more problems than you'd expect. Repair your controllers to refresh their connection. Sometimes the issue isn't with the cameras or the room. It's with the Bluetooth connection between the headset and the controllers. If your controller is not tracking at all or is drifting wildly, unpair and repair it through the system settings. Head to Settings, Vices, Grollers, and choose the Repair option. This can help the headset re-establish a clean connection with the controller and restore tracking performance to normal. Reset your Guardian and Play Area If your Guardian system, the virtual walls that define your play space, isn't set up correctly, it can cause strange tracking behaviors like drifting or ghost movements. From the Quest menu, go into Settings Guardian and choose to reset your play area. Redefine your boundaries and make sure they're aligned properly with your physical space. Even a small misalignment can lead to confusion between your movements and what the system expects to see. Lighting. Still weird? Consider your walls and floor too. Another sneaky tracking issue comes from lack of visual texture in your play environment. If your room has very plain blank white walls or a shiny featureless floor, the Quest 3 might have trouble anchoring your location because the cameras rely on visual landmarks. Add a rug, a few posters, or some visual variety to help the headset map the space more reliably. Still having issues? Try a factory reset. If none of these tips resolve the problem, and you're still dealing with tracking that just won't behave, it may be time to perform a factory reset. This will erase your data, but your games and purchases will remain linked to your Meta account. It's a last resort, but it can solve deeply embedded software conflicts. To reset via the headset, first, hold down the power and volume down buttons until the boot screen appears. Second, use the volume buttons to select factory reset and confirm with the power button. Or, use the MetaQuest mobile app. Open the app and select devices, advanced settings. Factory reset. When to contact support. If you've cleaned the cameras, adjusted lighting, reset your Guardian, and replaced your controller batteries, and tracking still refuses to cooperate, it's possible your device is dealing with a hardware-level fault. In that case, it's time to contact Metastore Support. They can walk you through advanced diagnostics, arrange a return, or get a replacement headset out to you if needed. Don't wait too long. If your headset is still under warranty, support is your best bet for a long-term solution. The MetaQuest 3 is one of the most powerful standalone VR systems out there, but even the best tech has its off days. Tracking issues can feel like they ruin your whole session, but thankfully, the causes are usually easy to identify and fix. From lighting problems to controller battery life to dusty tracking cameras, most issues can be solved in under 10 minutes. Just remember to stay calm, walk through the solution step by step, and reboot when in doubt. And hey, if this guide helped save your VR session and your sanity, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so we can keep bringing you the best fixes, tips, and virtual adventures.